You recognize that awful noise? It's the sound of a massive insect invasion. Trillions of cicadas are emerging across 12 states, from the Midwest to the East Coast after more than a decade underground. In central Illinois, there is a rare opportunity to see two types of cicadas together for the first time in more than 200 years. Dave Malkoff was in northeast Georgia when the first cicadas began surfacing there. These are the coming attractions. As you can see right here, it's going to split open. A synchronized symphony of cicadas emerging from the Midwest to the East Coast. So this is the first place to emerge in the United States? Yeah. In Northeast Georgia, it's the moment tree expert Campbell Vaughn has been waiting 13 years for. Emerging from the exoskeleton, uh, drying their wings, and then they're going to fly off. This guy was living underground for 13 years. It's not like they create generations underground. It's a big party for 13 years. <laughs> isn't it? Take a second and just listen to this. In real life, it's hard to tell exactly where the sound is coming from. That's because it's all happening in the treetop, 60 feet above us. This is where the action happens, where they are separated from predators that will gobble them up. They're looking to attract a mate. This is the first time this has happened since Thomas Jefferson was president. This year, in a rare dual emergence, the 13-year brood is making its appearance at the same time as the one that surfaces every 17 years, a cycle that aligns every 221 years and hasn't happened since 1803. Some folks in southern Illinois will get to see the once-in-a-lifetime show. We're going to be looking at trillions of cicadas coming out this summer across Illinois. Oh, wait, wait, I think I got one. We went to the University of Illinois where they're not only digging for cicadas. It's a boy. But also cataloging generations of them. These specimens are from the great, 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 great grandparents of the generation that's coming out this year. For cicadas, their long wait can sometimes end quickly. Everything eats them, from birds to squirrels. Snakes and frogs and... And people. It, it, people, <laughs> man, we might get lucky to do yeah. that. Is this something that people are actually doing in the neighborhood? I've never heard of this. With a little hot sauce, these are a very rare kind of uh, wings. You just ate it. What's it taste like? Not bad. But everyone gets full eventually. The survivors will mate and lay eggs, and when the youngest cicadas hatch and fall into the soil, it's their turn to wait a lifetime for their moment. For CBS Mornings, Dave Malkoff in Lincoln County, Georgia. Okay, I've always felt like Vlad, <laughs> Vlad is the most inter interesting man in the world. Vlad, you said that you've eaten cicadas before? In Thailand, yeah, I've eaten all sorts of insects. Uh, it tastes like crunchy potato chips. Oh, so you're, <laughs> you're here for the cicadas. As long as they don't eat me, I'm happy to eat them. <laughs> Tarika? <laughs> a little hot sauce, Tarika? Hot sauce in your bag, swag? No? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. But I'm so glad we did that because there is a lot of interest when you hear trillions of cicadas. Right. As long as they don't bite. I like how she was able to tell it was boy or girl. That was interesting. <laughs>